Shalom everyone, it's called Torah, it's Tuesday noon, and today we're going to discuss Parashat Shoftim, namely Judges. There are many, many things in our parasha that can caught our attention, but today I would like to focus on one simple prohibition that I would like to try to explain, explore, and to try to understand the relevancy to our lives. The Torah states, Lo titalecha kol asherah, you shall not plant any tree of Asherah, it's a type of a tree, near or next to the Mizbeach, the altar that you will build to Hashem your God, that you will do for yourself. And obviously the question is, why not? Why can't I plant a nice tree next to my altar that I built for Hashem? What's the problem with it? It would be nice. It would be a very aesthetic. It would be pretty. A mizbeach, an altar, is not the most aesthetic things in the world. I mean, it's a nice thing to do, but why not to have a nice tree? It will give me also some shade. Why not? What is the problem of planting a tree next to an altar? Rabbi Simpson Raphael Hirsch, Rabbi Simpson Raphael Hirsch, singled up a very interesting point that I would like to expand and to try to find the relevancy. Rabshim Shon Rafael Hirsch says that, look, if you plant the tree next to the altar and the tree grows and maybe even becomes fruitful, the tree will represent what he calls wealth and possessions. And therefore, people will associate bringing sacrifices on the altar or serving God with a direct association to what? To wealth. And minimizing or focusing only that the religious life that I am going to live is only for what? For the wealth and for the fruitful trees. Therefore, says Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, don't plant any trees next to the altar because their growth and their wealth, what they represent, we don't want it to be associated directly with religion. So what is the alternative? So says Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, you have an altar, you bring a sacrifice, you serve God. It's not for any what I will call a direct or an immediate compensation. You don't bow down to Hashem or bring a sacrifice and then you see how my tree is bearing beautiful apples. And that's what Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch basically says. And I would like to expand on it and to really try to make it as relevant as we can to our days. As we know, many things in this world, fortunately or unfortunately, we do things in order to get something in exchange. People invest a lot in relationships that will help them later on. People invest in people that they think will help them later on. This concept infiltrates in a way a little bit to religion as well. Many people will serve God or will do things that Hashem expects them to do or the Torah expects them to do, thinking all the time about, okay, so what do I get in exchange? It's a natural inclination. Everyone who does something would like to get something in exchange. But the question that we need to ask ourselves, is that the only reason that we do things? Or this is just another reason? If this, is, if this is the only reason why we do mitzvot or why we help friends so they can pay off, they can pay us off when we need them, we need to evaluate it. What religious life is all about and what serving Hashem is all about is not only for the perks that comes with it. It's not only for the exchange of gifts that we're going to get from Hashem. It's just purely because it's the right thing to do. Sometimes I think that we lose sight of what is really the right thing to do, just to do them because it's the right thing to do. 
not because I will get something in exchange, not because I will, you know, get an award or reward, or not because I'm going to be publicized in a newspaper. Just because it's the right thing to do. It's easier said than done. I know that. Wherever you go, there is always this give and take. But the true love to Hashem or true love to your spouse, to a true love to your friend, is to give. Ahava in Hebrew is love, is to give, is not to take. And sometimes I think we confuse the terms. If you love me, you need to give me. No, no, no. If you love me, you need to give. Can you have in mind that you maybe will receive something in exchange, perhaps? But that should not be the main reason, the sole reason why we do things for each other. So the Torah says, Lot Don't plant a tree next to the altar thinking that when you serve God, this tree must grow, this tree must bear fruits. Not exactly. Sometimes we serve God and we don't get anything in exchange. Sometimes we just, our prayers were not answered the way we wanted them to be answered. But that's okay, because we did the right thing. So from now on, we try. We try to do the right things for the right reasons. Thank you.